Welcome back to Brightside on 10 Tampa Bay on this Monday morning. We're your hurricane headquarters and it is an active tropics. Thousands of people in New Orleans are finishing up getting their homes ready for Hurricane Sally this morning. This is video from yesterday of a sandbag distribution center that ran out of supplies in just a couple of hours. A whole lot of need there. And people are also getting all of the food that they may need in case they lose power and filling up their gas tanks just in case ahead of this storm. Natalie's in for Grant this morning. While the storm is expected to make landfall overnight tonight, we have another named storm this morning as well. You've been a busy lady. <laughs> yeah, named storm and another disturbance that actually formed into a depression um, literally within the last hour and a half. So just really keeping me on my toes on this Monday morning. Let's get straight to it. We are tracking five actual organized disturbances, systems, I should say, and then two disorganized disturbances, one in the Gulf, which actually is not expected to form. So it's moving towards Mexico, no concern there. And then one slowly coming off the West Coast of Africa that we'll be watching very closely. But I do want to talk about the five actual systems that have formed. I'm not going to talk about Renee because that is actually not going to last much longer. Tropical Depression Renee is actually weakening as we speak. So let's get straight to Sally. This is the one that's actually going to be impacting the northern Gulf of Mexico, the northern coastline here starting tonight, going through the overnight hours. Already some of those outer bands moving on shore into the Florida panhandle. And it's actually some of that associated moisture behind Sally that's giving the western half of Florida the best rain chances today as well. But we're going to be watching Sally closely as it is forecast to reach category one status prior to landfall later tonight going into the early morning hours of tomorrow. Then there's Teddy. This is the new one that formed as of 5 a.m. This was Tropical Depression 20, now Tropical Storm Teddy, still in the tropical Atlantic, still far away. It is forecast to gradually drift towards the west and become a major hurricane later this week, but it's still far away from the United States. So good news there. The Eye of Paulette has been smack dab over Bermuda this morning. And this one is forecast to even strengthen further as it drifts well to the east northeast away from the United States. And this, just in case you missed it, we, this is all the way to the far eastern tropical Atlantic. This is Tropical Depression 21. This one is likely going to be short lived. It may try to strengthen to a tropical storm later today briefly before weakening through tomorrow and into Wednesday.